Hello everyone, my name is Anton Pelcher. I'm an engineer and I've been building fish farms for over 10 years. Imagine, you decided to start a fish farming business, farming fish in rice. You have calculated the prime cost, invested in a building, in rice equipment, started growing fish. And now you rub your hands with joy in anticipation of future profits. And then it suddenly turns out that, first, you have no idea where to sell the fish. Secondly, there is no stock in material which could be conveniently delivered to your farm. And thirdly, it's not clear at all whether someone needs this fish in your area. What's that about? It's all about the fact that there are important necessary steps that need to be taken before a building start running a fish farm. That's exactly what I'm going to talk about today. So make sure you watch this video all the way to the end, so that you don't end up in the situation that I have just described. Let's go! And the first thing you need to determine is, of course, the market, supply and demand for the fish. What do you need it for? It's impossible to choose the type of fish that you will grow without understanding the market and whether someone in your area needs this fish, as well as competitors who sell this type of fish as well and at what price they sell it and where they sell it. Meaning that, before you even begin to choose even the type of fish, you need to figure out where you're going to sell that fish and depending on what type of fish is sold in your area, what the market prices are and whether there is the delta which will allow you to make money. And based on that, you can choose wisely the fish that you can grow. And the second important issue is, of course, stocking material. Even if you are chosen a super interesting for farming and profitable type of fish, but there is no stocking material around, first of all you need to think whether it's even possible to buy the stocking material some way and somewhere. Certainly, you can install your own incubation block or bring in cover by plane. Here is important to think right away. Is it feasible, especially if you are going to grow fish in small quantities? And you need to select the type of fish for farming based on whether there is stock and material, whether there is market capacity, what the estimated profit is. In fact, if you want to go into more detail on how to choose fish species adequately and correctly, you can find three videos dedicated to this issue on the channel. So watch the videos on selecting fish species and you will get answers to all the questions you have regarding this topic. The next thing is the capacity of the farm. It's not enough to choose that you need to farm trout, for example. You also need to figure out what your farm capacity will be. Because you can grow one ton of fish or you can grow 100 tons. This topic is also covered in the videos I have just told you about. So, regarding the choice of farm capacity, be sure to watch those videos to the end and it will help you navigate in the topic of fish farming. The next important point is fish feed. Of course, the feed have to be fed. And before you build and start a farm, you need to get the understanding where you are going to get the feed from. As a rule, this issue causes less problems than the stocking material issue. For example, in my country, there are at least 6-7 representative offices of foreign feed manufacturers, world-known European feed producers, and also local factories. So, in my region there are no serious problems with feed purchase. Nevertheless, it's important for you to understand in advance where you're going to buy feed, and more interestingly, what the feed cost will be. So, you have decided what fish species you are going to grow, what the expected farm productivity will be, where to order stocking material at least approximately, and even more importantly, which type of stocking material you will need in the form of fertilized eggs or in the form of fry. And you have decided what you are going to feed the fish with. And now it's important for you to understand who is going to operate the farm. Of course, it's easy if you are going to build a farm for yourself and to work on that farm yourself. Then this question is basically a no-brainer for you. You know that you are going to personally farm the fish and work at that farm. However, in other situations you will need staff, especially if the farm is large. In case it's a large farm or there is incubation, you will surely need to hire staff. As a general rule, almost all staff positions are taken by local workers, no matter where you live. The only position that requires really high qualification is the chief biologist. And most often the biologist is invited from another region if there are no high qualified specialists nearby. So, it's important to decide which stuff you will need, in what quantity, as well as you will need at least approximate understanding of the salary level, because you will need that for your business plan. The next thing is to decide on the land and the building. 
there is one option when you start the construction on an empty site, or there is the other option when you locate the farm in an existing building. There are two completely different situations. That is, if you are equipping an existing building or you are building everything from scratch, the approach depends very much on that. Thus, decide for sure where and how you are going to locate your rest farm. By the way, there are also videos on the channel dedicated to site and building selection. If you want to go deeper into this subject, follow the link, watch and enjoy it. Also, you will need to get the understanding of the technology and res equipment in order to understand which building you need, what dimensions it should be, ceiling height, and other requirements. You need to understand the requirements to res equipment, and you need to select res equipment in advance to understand which way you will install the tanks on the floor, on the podium. Will you be bearing utility lines on the concrete, or probably you will lay utility lines in the trays? All this must be understood before you start any construction work. The next important issue to make up your mind how you are going to lay the utility lines. You need to understand what the source of makeup water you are going to make use of. For example, whether you are going to supply water from a borehole or an open water source. And what will be the farm heating source? Will it be main gas, pellets, liquefied gas, coal or any other option? Your economics and basically your approach to construction will depend on that. You need to figure out where you are going to discharge the waste water. This, by the way, is a topic that is very often neglected when planning this business. That is, if at a farm 50 cubic meters per day are accumulated and it's not clear for you where to discharge it, and it's already too late, the farm is already built and operates. So be sure to figure out how and where to discharge a certain amount of waste water. Once you have decided on all the main aspects, stock and material, where you buy it and at what cost, feed, staff, building, res equipment, marketing, where and what approximate price you are going to sell this fish. Only after that, you can draw up a rough and preliminary business plan. If you are wondering how to make up a proper business plan, I'll shoot a video devoted to this topic soon, so be sure to subscribe to the channel. By the way, press the like button and wait for the release of the video. I will tell you in detail, step by step, how to make your financial model on the basis of the information collected. And the next step is to decide on your project financing. You have calculated that the business is profitable, everything is cool. And the next issue is where to get money. For example, the expected amount is 250,000 US dollars. It's one thing if you have your own funds. Okay, that's a good option. But if you, like many others, don't have sufficient own funds, you need to attract outside funding. Then you can watch the video following the pop-up link and you will get information on where to get money to build a farm from. And probably the last thing is the legal aspect. You need to understand what to do with the permits and documents. The first is the building permission. If you are constructing a new building, you need a ready design to get a building permit. If you start your farm in an existing building, you don't need a construction permit, at least it's so in my country of origin. And then it's just enough to equip the building with RAS equipment. And after that, only get a veterinary certificate as a result. That means to involve veterinarians, get a certificate, a veterinary passport and sell fish. Therefore, documents and business legalization are also the very important aspects. And by the way, if you're going to start construction, purchase res equipment, it's better to set up a separate legal entity for general convenience in terms of according taxation. And it's better not to let two separate, independent companies intersect. Well, I've gone over the top of the subject of what you need to consider and think about before you build your own res fish farm. Of course, each of these questions can be covered in a separate and more detailed video. But there is no issue now to burden you with a lot of information. Just take this as a checklist and be sure to consider each of the related videos when building your own fish farm. It's Hanson Pelcher and my channel on how to grow fish and make good money from it. Bye!